What is up, everybody? So this is the media player called Dead Beef. I'm pretty sure at this point everybody knows about it, but if you don't, well, this kind of sucks. I mean, I'm sure that we could definitely, you know, add some stuff back in here. Like if we went to home and here, and I totally just got it, and now there's stuff in there. And then I close it and I open it. Oh, that didn't work. Basically, it's completely messy. All right, so if I went and I added a folder and I went here and then here and we did a thing. One second, let me just add one folder. Um, let's do some Alexis on fire. So adding a folder like that allows you to see files and you can see this is disgustingly messy. This is so unorganized, it's just bad, okay? Default sucks so much. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit design mode. And we're going to just completely kill everything off. All right, except for this. I'm keeping this. This is cool. So now that we have a clean slate, okay, clean, meaning nothing here, we're going to insert a splitter left and right like this. And then here, we're going to insert top and bottom. And here, we're gonna insert another top and bottom. Why? Well, you'll see in a second. Let's just do that. And let's drag that over there. Now, most modern media players actually have album art, some sort of media info, and a nifty little equalizer, right? But, you know what? We messed this up. Why? Well, in here, we're going to insert bottom, okay? And because of this, I'm gonna to need to get rid of this. This is actually really complicated to be able to do. So bottom goes here, and then left and right go here. Okay, just gonna pull that over there. And then in here goes another top and bottom, and top and bottom. This is what I do for my layout. What you can do is completely different. Uh, this is sort of just, you know, trying to just help a little bit. So I want that over there. Okay. That's going to be my first one. And then I want another one because that one is going to be for my pad. This is going to be for our play button and things like this. This is going to be a seek bar. And then I want to insert another one. That's going to be for our volume. Then insert another one. I know this is sounding ridiculous already. But you'll see it when it's over. That's just to keep it away from the wall. So this is where we begin. Okay. First, we're going to insert a playlist. And it's going to be a playlist with tabs. Done. Next, over here, we're going to insert album art. Next, we're going to insert, I believe it's called section properties. I think so. Yes, it is. We're going to insert uh, a spectrum of sorts in here. And I, I don't know if this is the one. Let me play a song. No, that's not the one. All right. Replace with you. I really need to turn this down, by the way. Is this the one? Definitely not. I'm trying to figure out the one because I believe it's this one. Yeah, this is the mu musical spectrum. Okay. This is the one I like to replace it with. Now, over here, we are going to insert album art again because it looks cool. We're going to insert the playback controls. We're going to be inserting the, uh, where is it? Seek bar. And in this one, we're going to be inserting the magical volume bar. And this one is going to be left blank. Why? Uh, because it just looks better that way. Okay. And I want to just keep all of that organized. Now this still looks messy. I admit it does. I'm not going to freaking deny that whatsoever. And even when we do this, it still looks messy. So we're going to get out of design mode. 
we're going to go in here we're going to group by there you go and in here i am going to edit this column to be album art and we're just going to drag that up there like that we're going to max it as much as we can without it looking weird and then over here we're going to edit this column to instead being album artist it's artist okay and we probably can do a lot of other things with it but yeah there you go for this column it's going to be track list so instead of track number we're just going to do track list but we could just do this instead okay now i find this is a bit weird so i end up doing it this way instead oh god damn it album art artist title see i totally screwed it up so this album we're going to be adding album where's album there it is and we're going to be putting that next to there and doing that so we can fix it so if we bring this in nice and close just like that there you go you have the song numbers as for the titles you're gonna want them far durations you're going to want that far away from there. And if you really want to, you can add as many columns as you need. So we can add year. We can add... You already have duration, right? We do have duration. Track number's already there. Band, artist, codec, bitrate. See that? You can add bitrate. And so much more. Basically, this is unlimited when it comes to being able to do something. Close this out, by the way, you'll notice that it has a nice fancy blur effect behind it because I added it with blur my shell by going here and applications. I enabled this, I turned off this and I added the window. As you can see, it's right there, but I don't want to add it twice. So that in a nutshell is my layout. Now I'm going to just do that and make that a little cleaner for this. Uh, you can make this a little bit bigger if you go into edit preferences uh, plugins and if you go to album art right there you'll notice it's at 256 well you can change this to 512 okay and it should get bigger but then again you can also do that and this there see i want this as clean as possible final layout looks great anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video about dead beef i just like a clean aesthetic and honestly this fits the bill don't forget to like subscribe and share the video for more stuff like this if you want to find my already pre-made config with discord rpc plugin and other plugins it's in my Discord Linux channel. It's pinned. Bye, everybody.